own your truth. We talked about truth earlier, satya, satyayama, truth, mastery. Own your truth means you see who you are, you see what your truth is. It doesn't mean that you have to go aggressing people and forcing your truth on others, you know, without their consent. But what it means, it means standing for the values and you think and the things that you know are important to you. What is it that really matters in your system, in your world, in your existence? It is, you know, the truth is this reality that there is a sword inside of you, something that stands powerful and strong, like an angelic power, like Metatron, like Mikhail, the archangels, you know, inside of you, and you're holding this word of truth and not giving up on it. And so this is the idea of the values that you live for, the choice that you make in life. What is it that you want to stand for? And so in the process of owning that truth, it doesn't necessarily mean going to battle with people out there or trying to control other people's lives. On the contrary, what it means is bringing back the center of your being right in the core and being like, I know who you are, I know why I am on this planet. Everything is falling into place right now. I know what I'm doing here. And I know who I am. And that thing that is me, nobody has the right to come in and control it or tell me what to do with it. Own your truth. See, when you were born, you were born with this right to have control over what you eat, where you live, your actions, your time frame, your personal space. The choice that you make, all that is within the range of what's yours. And yes, sometimes you will have suppressive or oppressive systems in your life that are established that might be robbing you from a part of that freedom. I understand that and I get that, but we're on the pathway right now as a human race to expand that freedom and uh, gain a greater sense of control and direction over our, li our own lives. The hierarchy that used to be there, you know, with very powerful kings and slaves, you know, that hierarchy is shifting. And even if you don't have much in life, of much resource of power, or energy or money, believe me, there is still a range there of freedom in what comes to the mind, in what comes to the expression of your being that you can use right now. What is your truth? Where is it? Own it.